This is Carrick Station on Emergency Response Corpse Priority Frequency. Master Satil, do you read us? Excellent. You've arrived just in time. The people of Karmimu are being held hostage by a criminal despot. Governor Chornarov was under investigation for corruption. He was about to be arrested by Republic officials when he declared his planet's independence. Politicians usually need the voters on their side for something like that. The governor enacted emergency powers and imposed martial law. The people of Karamimu have no say in this. Chonarov was able to seize power because of the Republic's missile arrays stored on his world, and the criminal army he's amassed. After Separatist forces were crushed on Ord Mantel, Governor Chornarov secretly offered their leaders and surviving troops asylum on Karamimu. Havoc Squad had a mission to wipe out those Separatists. I intend to see it through. Before we can deal with Separatists, we must clear a path to the surface. The missiles produced on Kadamimu are supposed to supply planetary defense batteries along the Selenon Spur, a major trade route. Those worlds now lie vulnerable. Governor Chornarov has commandeered enough Republic planetary-level weapons that a large-scale invasion is impossible. The missile arrays would destroy our capital ships in orbit. A lone strike team could slip past those planetary defenses. That's why we're here. I need you to restore the planet's defenses to Republic control. That will mean defeating Governor Chornarov's elite Separatist guards. The stealth-equipped assault shuttle is standing by. Your landing zone will be Kanamimu's capital industrial sector close to the missile arrays. I'll head there immediately. There is one last detail. Governor Chornarov is merely a corrupt politician. His private army's leader, General Ortal, is a mass murderer. Ortal sent thousands of innocent Ord Mantellians to their death. If you encounter that war criminal, bring him to justice. Hurry to Katamimu before the remaining missile defenses come online and our window of opportunity closes. May the Force be with you.
Young citizens, the coming days will be difficult. You will hear lies about civil unrest, about attacks on our soil. But our world is protected. Not just by our arsenal, but the Academy and Guard patrols the streets to keep you safe. Listen to the lies on the hollow net. There are no riots in the mercantile district, and the missile batteries are perfectly safe. Major destination. All vehicles leave on time. There are others waiting. Move along. Hello. 
fellow citizens, some of you have questioned the makeup of the Kadamiman Guard. You ask, why have we recruited off-worlders? But I say, if a man like General Otto wants to fight for our planet, it would be selfish to deny him that privilege. <laughs>
cowering in his bunker, but we will do our job. You won't get any further.
are, you piece of trash? You think I'm afraid now? shuttle just became vulnerable. Leave the cleanup to us. Thanks. Master Satil, this is Carrick Station reporting. What's the situation on Katamimu? Better than we hoped, thanks to you. Governor Chornarov was captured and his Separatist allies are surrendering to our forces. That war criminal you wanted brought in made the mistake of trying to stop us. General Orr Tall won't be hurting anyone else. I'd have preferred putting him on trial, but at least he didn't escape. Not only did you liberate Katamimu, you thwarted an Imperial invasion. We detected an enemy fleet dropping out of hyperspace at the system's edge. When the Imperials saw we commanded Katamimu's missile defenses, they retreated. Had they captured that world, Dozens of systems would have been threatened. Maybe the governor planned to join the Empire. Jonarov would never have turned over power, but it's possible his Separatist friends had other plans. It will be some time before Katamimu's government is restored. Until then, we'll maintain the peace. Enjoy your respite from the fighting. I'll be in touch. May the Force be with you. <laughs> 